Hey guys, welcome to CAD Recaps. Today's drama is a type that you can kill time with, as it's very cute, with a very shocking end. Yoshin is a beautiful girl who is well liked at her work, which she masters skillfully. But what her colleagues don't know about her is that, she's an otaku, and a fan of anime and manga, since she was a child until now. One day she was returning from work tired, and went to the manga library, but she found it closed. And when she was about to go, she found a cardboard of her favorite anime hero, so she hugged him and took him home with her. But when she woke up the next day, she found a young guy preparing breakfast for her. Yoshin was shocked. She thought she was dreaming at first. But when she realized that this was true, she yelled at him thinking he is a thief. But she politely denied this, and told her that she was the one who brought him yesterday. Yoshin was shocked of just thinking about that he might be the cardboard that she brought yesterday, but she told her that he left his world and came to her own. Of course, Yoshin didn't believe all this, and she told him to get out now as she is not foolish, and to prove his words to her, he told her that anything she do with his cardboard, will happen to him. So she grabbed the scissors and cut off a part of his hair, and quickly a part of his hair fall to the ground. Yoshin still didn't believe, so she bit the model's arm, and she also found a bite mark on his arm. Yoshin was shocked and didn't believe what happened, and Chi told her that he has nowhere to go, and he didn't know anyone except her, so she decided to allow him to stay with her. Until one day Chi went to her work and brought her food, at first she was happy with this, until she found out that her boss, whom she has a crush on him, saw them together. Yoshin when knew that, she told Chi to go back to his world, or find another place to stay, and she kicked him out. But the next day, she felt remorse and worried about him, especially since it started to rain, so she went to search for him, and found him in the street, so she took him to her home once again. There, she started taking care of him because he was sick. From that day on, he began to care more about her, by preparing food for her at home. And one day, he went to her work, so Yoshin got angry as they made an agreement to not to go with her to the work again. But she told her that he made tea for her because he noticed that her stomach was hurting. And in the evening, while eating lunch, she felt very sick. But she remembered the tea, and it really made her feel comfortable after drinking it. Time passes and they started to get closer and closer, and they went out together on her day off to the supermarket and Yoshin was disguised so that no one could see them together. But to her bad luck, her boss met her, and remembered Chi from the last time, so she lied about Chi that he is her cousin, and when he knew that he is her cousin, he felt happy. Time passes, and although she told Chi not to let anyone know they lived together, when he saw her boss delivering her home, he got out to pick her at the door. Yoshin got angry with him. She didn't want her boss to think they lived together, but she was surprised by Chi the next day being in her company, after her friend who had seen him with her before, asked him to become the new model in the company because he is handsome. On seeing her friend's interest in him, Yoshin began to feel jealous without noticing, but she went to speak with her boss, and when Chi saw that, he went to him and said in front of everyone that he and Yoshin lived together. And when the boss knew that, he decided to take a step forward in their relationship, so he invited her for dinner. When Chi knew that, he went to work at the same restaurant, and when they went there, they were surprised that he is the waiter, Yoshin was forced to evade the matter, and she behaved like she knew it before. And when boss ordered her the food he loves, he was surprised by Chi telling him that she didn't love this kind of food, but for her boss she ate it, but after a while her stomach hurt her, and she went to bathroom. At this moment, Chi went to her boss and told him that he loves her, so the boss told him they will see who can get her, but Chi got angry and told him that she is not a toy they can get. And the next day, Chi wanted to go with her on a date too, so he asked her to go with him to buy a new suit, and because her stomach was still hurt, Chi went to get her a fruit juice. And on his way, he saw her boss in underwear shop. Quickly Chi went to Yoshin and told her about that, and that her boss of course has a girlfriend, but when she went with him, her boss was already gone. 
The next day, Yoshin went to the company, and there, she told the boss that she want to lose some weight, so he gave her the card of the gym he goes to. But on contrary, when she told Chi, he told her that she is beautiful as she is, and she didn't need anything, and he will make her healthy food to keep fit though. The next day when Yoshin finished work, she was going to the gym, and her boss offered to deliver her with him, but before, he would go to his house to get some stuff. Yoshin went with him, and there, she found some women's swimsuits, and when she asked him about it, he told her that he loves designing it, but he could never tell anyone. Yoshin decided to tell him her secret too, that she is an otaku, but her boss laughed at her telling her that he couldn't imagine that the hard-working girl, is an otaku. Yoshin felt upset, but she didn't let it show, but she found her boss confesses his love for her, and after a brief thinking, she rejected his feelings politely, and left the house. When Chi knew what happened, he thought she accepted boss's feelings, he felt angry and jealous, but he did not show it as he usually does, and he blessed their relationship. But Yoshin felt angry because she thought he would be jealous, and he would confess his love to her, but he did not. And when he returned home, Chi told her that he did not want her to fall for him anymore, because he discovered that he is disappearing, and soon he would return to his world. Yoshin tried to pretend to be strong, and told him that she doesn't like him, but she went into her room crying inside, and she discovered that she really loves him. The next day at work, Yoshin's friend noticed that she was wandering, and when she asked her what is wrong with her, Yoshin decided to tell her everything. Yoshin's friend was surprised that Yoshin was an otaku more than knowing that she is a fictional character, but she advised her to confess to him before it is too late. And when Yoshin went to confess to him, she found that his foot was in severe pain, and there were some drops of water on it, so Yoshin remembered that she had left the water tap open and his cardboard must have been wet, so she ran home to save it. At this time, Chi stayed with the boss who told him that Yoshin had rejected his feelings, so Chi knew here that she loves him, not the boss. And indeed, at night, Yoshin confessed her love to him, and he did so, and Chi hugged her. Time passes, and they went out on several dates, but one day in the evening, Chi told her that he had been here for 100 days, and that he felt that it is time to go. And indeed, in the morning Yoshin woke up and did not find him, she cried a lot, and she was always thinking about him, and whether he would come back. But she doesn't know that he is the author of the manga, and that she is actually a fictional character in this manga, and she can bring himself back into her life at any time. This is all for today's drama, tell me if you were shocked like me with its end, and if you like it, don't forget to hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel.